Peace. Today's mathematics is knowledge out of cipher or knowledge cipher or one and zero. All drawn up to its highest is knowledge. And one of the things that we oftentimes say about a cipher is that it is a person, place, or thing. And that's not just a fixed definition of what a cipher is. Just like any of our supreme mathematics or principles, they have various different perspectives or nuances along a spectrum. So for example, if I'm building about knowledge, I may say that knowledge is the foundation. I may say knowledge is to know the ledge. I may say that knowledge is information. I may say knowledge is awareness or consciousness or the underlying significance of all things. I may say knowledge is the foundation which represents the black man as the foundation of his family. I may have a lot of different perspectives of what knowledge is along a spectrum. All of the supreme mathematics are that way, including cipher. So cipher is not just a person, place, or thing. So when a person says knowledge out of cipher, they're not just only saying knowledge out of person, place, or thing, <laughs> right? Um, a cipher in the context of mathematics is zero and has a value of nothing. Only in relationship to another numeral does it have value. But in and of itself, it has a value of nothing or zero. But a cipher is also a circle, which represents everything because it is 360 degrees complete. So here you have a cipher or a circle simultaneously meaning nothing or having no value, but also everything at the exact same time. A cipher by definition is also a code. And when you look at living organisms, whether it's plant life or animal life, at the root or the essence of all living organisms is a code. And that code is known as DNA or genetic information, which is a secret code or writing. A code is also a key. So when we say knowledge out of cipher, one of the things that we're saying is knowledge, gaining knowledge itself, becoming more aware, learning new information, you go through a process where you eventually unlock a key, unlock the code of what that principle means. And regardless of what information that you're gaining or what particular subject matter that you're experiencing or studying, you consistently go through that process every single time. Some subject matter that you might have been studying 10 years ago, you might have gained one key or unlocked something about that subject matter at that time that you might be researching 10 years later and unlock something entirely different through doing that research. Our principles of supreme mathematics are the exact same way. Knowledge out of cipher, whether it's wisdom out of cipher or understanding out of cipher, whenever you go through that process of gaining knowledge or becoming more aware, you arrive at the point where you add a cipher onto that knowledge or you unlock or gain a key which enables you to recognize another's perspective or dimension of what that principle actually means. And that just ultimately speaks to how inexhaustible the process of learning about these supreme mathematics or principles are and how growth and development is a constant, never ending inner journey. It's constant. So I will. This was inspiring. It was empowering. It was educational. It just gave those of you a little bit more perspective on the meaning of what a cipher is as a code or a glyph or a key and its value in relationship to another principle of life or numeral. Peace.